What's this? PS5 in VR on the Quest 2 on a giant screen in a theater? That's not possible, is it? Yes, it absolutely is, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. Who doesn't want to play PS5 in a giant theater-sized screen? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in VR on the Quest 2. First, I'm going to show you a couple of minutes of gameplay just to show you how it works, how the latency is, and then I'll show you how to get it set up. Keep an eye out for a special hidden friend and comment down below who it is. I'll pick a random winner for a free Quest game, but make sure you watch the video because you'll have to answer a couple of questions about where this friend was so you don't just copy and paste the answer. Let's jump in and check out the PS5 in VR on the Quest 2 right now. All right, here we are inside of VR. We are in virtual desktop. Here is a giant screen in front of us. You can see Groot, Rocket, Drax is wearing glasses, trying to read. <laughs> and Peter Quill is right there. Uh, we're just going to jump in, and I'm going to show you how this works. You're just going to hit continue. I'm using my uh, PS5 controller right here. So far, I really love this game. The only thing I wish we could do is turn off the thing up there that says Remote Play Connected. That's kind of annoying, but that's a... <laughs> I'd rather have that something that I have to deal with than uh, not be able to do this at all. Having this giant screen, like, I would never have this in my house. This huge screen is just amazing to be able to play on. If you know anything about me, you know I love... Ah, oh, crap, I hit the wrong button. You know that I love superhero stuff. This is the epitome of superhero stuff. I was actually very surprised at how amazing this game is. I mean, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, but, but I was actually quite surprised, pleasantly surprised at how good this was. I love the action in this game. I also love the reload mechanic. Nice. Nice. The story is actually really good in this game, too. We've got a new ability to loot. Barely. You'll fit. Just suck it in. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's messed up. Yeah, we better get the heck out of here. <laughs> Rocket's always about the money and getting out of stuff. Very, very little latency. Like, see, jump, jump, fire, jump. Like, I'm just trying to show you the latency as best I can. There's very little latency. I love the action in this game. Just so good. I love the slow-mo in this game. Even the head-to-head -head combat feels really good. Where is, where is everybody? Oh, there's a guy right there. I love the sliding attacks. You slide, it goes to slow motion. Oh, great. What is this guy? There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. We did it. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, we gotta get rid of these idiots up there. They're getting friggin' annoying. Alright, there's another clamp there. <laughs> Their po posture is relevant. I love Drax. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Alright, let's get these guys out. We gotta rescue the Milano. Come on. Where are those other clamps? Oh, clamps right there. Okay, cool. Come on. There we go. Got it. Ooh. <laughs> I was on top of it. And go, Groot. There we go. We did it. There you go. There is Guardians of the Galaxy on the PS5 in VR on the Quest 2. Let's take a quick commercial break, and then I'll show you exactly how to do it. <sighs> Ever since I was a kid, cereal has been one of my all-time favorite snacks. Unfortunately, most of my favorites are packed with a ton of sugar. Thanks to Magic Spoon, I now have a solution. With Magic Spoon, you get all your childhood favorite flavors without all of the unnecessary junk. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving, and they're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just eating my cereal, but you can click the link below to grab some of your own Magic Spoon cereal today to help you accomplish those health goals of 2022. You can build your very own variety box using my code BMFBR for $5 off. You can choose from the best selling cocoa, my favorite fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, and maple waffle flavors, plus other awesome flavors including blueberry and cinnamon. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's back with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use code BMFVR for $5 off your order today, or go to magicspoon.com slash BMFVR to save $5 off your order today. And for my British and Canadian fans, Magic Spoon is now shipping to the UK and Canada. I'm going to finish my bowl of cereal.
All right, so a couple of quick things with this. You do need a PC to be able to make this happen, and you're gonna need Virtual Desktop from the Quest Store. Virtual Desktop is what allows us to use our Quest 2 connected to the PC to actually play the remote play application on the PC. Because this is essentially just a streaming video viewer, it doesn't require a massive gaming PC to make this work, but there are some minimum requirements that you can check on the PlayStation website. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so setting it up so you can play your PS5 on your Quest 2 is actually pretty simple. First thing you gotta do is go to the PlayStation website and download the remote play application on your PC. This does work with Mac as well, but I'll be going through the PC version today. So you're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says which devices are compatible, and you're gonna click on Windows, PC, and Mac download. And then for PC, you're going to click on control your PS5 console with a Windows PC. This is a set of instructions on how to control your PS5 console from a Windows PC. You can read through these instructions if you like, but the first thing you gotta do is download the software. So go down where it says install the app, Agree to the license agreements and then hit download. Once that's done, you're just gonna open up the installer, let it do its thing and install the software. And while it's doing that, we'll jump over to the PS5 really quick. Now there's a couple of things we need to do on the PS5 to actually get this working properly. It's kind of a roundabout way of doing it, but it's really the only way to get it to work properly for Quest 2. So you need to have at least two accounts on your PS5. One is going to be the remote account and the other we're going to use with the DualSense controller so you can play with the controller in VR. Now what I've done is actually set up a secondary account on my PS5 five that I log into with the remote play because when you log in with remote play and then you try to use your dual sense controller it'll require a second account for dual sense so if you log in with your primary account you won't be able to play your primary saves you'll have to play from the secondary account so if you log into the secondary account on remote play you can switch over to your primary with the controller and actually be able to play your saved games so regardless whatever account you decide to use jump over in the home screen select the settings then go to system remote play, and then make sure you enable remote play. You can also change the settings in settings, system, power saving, features available in rest mode, and then turn on stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS5 from network if you want to be able to activate this while your PS5 is in rest mode. All right, so once the PS5 is all set up, the remote play application should be all downloaded. Put your shortcut somewhere easy to get to and you're gonna open it on your PC. Once you've got it open, it's gonna say sign in to PSN. Click on that button. Then it's gonna open up another panel. Next, enter in the email address that you wanna use to actually log in to this remote play. I used that secondary email address. If you have two-step verification enabled like ID, you'll have to grab that verification code from your phone and enter it to log in. Once you're logged in, you can confirm and continue, and then it'll ask you which console you want to set up to play. You actually can play PS4 as well, but we're doing PS5 today, so you're going to click on a PS5. It's going to warn you to make sure that your settings are on for remote play like we already did. Hit OK. Then it's going to take a second to search for connections via the internet, and then it'll pop up on your desktop. Now that you've got it all set up, you can either leave it open and jump into the Quest, or you can actually open that same application from inside of the Quest. We're going to do that right now. All right, quickly, before we go over to the Quest 2, a reminder for Virtual Desktop. If you have not downloaded the Desktop Streamer application on your PC, you are going to need that to make Virtual Desktop work. So make sure you go to the link in the description, download the streamer, and input the information required, which is just your Oculus username, so that it'll connect to the Quest 2 when you jump into the application. Once that's all set up, you can jump into the Quest 2, and you're gonna open up Virtual Desktop. As long as the streamer application is installed, it'll find the computer and you'll just have to click on it to connect. Once the computer is connected properly, you'll see your desktop. Now is when you're gonna to wanna to open up the PS Remote Play. Now this is why you should put the shortcut in an easy to get to place, so you'll double click that. Once that application is open, it's gonna show your PS5 and the ID number. Using the touch controller, click on that button, and it'll check the network again and connect to your PS5, and then it'll pop up on the screen in Virtual Desktop. Now, one more thing we have to do before you can actually play, and that is to use the controller to connect to the PS5. Now I mentioned using a secondary account, what we're gonna do now is actually hit the PlayStation button on the controller. It'll ask you which account to sign into. Sign into the account that you're not logged into for remote play. So if you're logged into a secondary account, so you can use your primary, activate the primary account with that controller. And then once that's on and you have control of the dashboard, you'll need to hit your PlayStation button and then go down to the menu bar and hit home. That'll bring you to your primary account so you can use your saved data that you have on that account while in virtual reality. And now you're all set up. You're ready to play some PS5 and the Quest 2. Now we're gonna jump to a quick commercial and when we come back, I'm going to show you some really cool things you can do in virtual desktop and different environments you can check out to play PS5 in. One of the cool things about this in VR is actually you can change the environments you're in. So let's say we're in the dark cinema right now, but let's say we just want a home theater. We can click on that. Screen is a little bit smaller, but still a massive screen. You can go to a home cinema if you want. It's a little bit different look, kind of to the side view. 
You could do an auditorium, which is a more lit up, huge auditorium that you can sit in. You could even do some of these. I don't have all of them downloaded, but I've got this one here. If you want to change where you are and just play on a TV in a different apartment over the city, you can always do that too, which is pretty amazing. Or if you want, you can go to the gaming room and sit in front of a computer type of monitor. It's even curved and you can play on here. So several different options that you can use. There you go, there's some gameplay as well as a tutorial on how to get this set up. It's really not that hard, it just takes a few steps to get going. The computer specifications are extremely low for this, so if you have a PS5 and even an older computer, you should be totally fine to get this set up. You will need a wireless router, it works best with a 5 gigahertz router, I should have mentioned that earlier, but it may be okay at less than that, really optimally though, you should be using a 5 gigahertz router with virtual desktop anyway. What do you think though, are you going to try this out? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to comment down below with the special friend that you found in the video to be entered to win a free quest game. If you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest, dude, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out even more of my videos right over there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.